let's move to the next one in this exercise again we will assume pi as 22 by 7 unless stated otherwise if it has to be taken as 3.14 then the question will mention it find the volume of right circular cone with radius 6 cm height 7 cm so the first question is pretty easy it is 1 by 3 let me write it volume equal to 1 by 3 pi radius square into height where radius is r and h is height okay so 1 by 3 pi i will take as 22 by 7 radius square means 6 square into height which is 7 okay so i will cancel it here i can write 2 here 6 into 2 is 12 and 12 into 22 will be 264 and you need to always take care of the units so units will be centimeter cubes the second part is also very easy because everything that we require is already given 1 by 3 pi i am taking as 22 by 7 radius square radius is 3.5 3.5 is 7 by 2 so square of 7 by 2 will be 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 and it has to be multiplied with height which is 12 so 7 is cancelled 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 3 is 12 so this 12 is also cancelled 22 into 7 will give you your answer which is 154 centimeter cubes okay so this question was very easy because everything was given in this question let us look at the second one here find the capacity in liters of a conical vessel with these units right in the first question it was not mentioned that the answer has to be in liters or centimeter cube meter cube etc so we took the units that were mentioned in the question and answered our uh, wrote our answer in those dimensions only in this question we will write our answer in liters okay so first thing so let's do the first part here we are given radius as 7 centimeter and slant height as 25 centimeter so we are not given the height of the right circular cone in this question so to find the height i'll apply pythagoras theorem so h will be equal to 25 square minus 7 square square root so it will give you 24 centimeter as your height volume will be 1 by 3 pi i am taking as 22 by 7 radius square 7 into 7 into height 24 right this calculation is very easy so you can do it yourself we just did this calculation the same calculation in previous question so second part here height is given so h is equal to 12 centimeter slant height is given so l is given as 13 centimeter now r has to be obtained some of you who know the pythagorean triplets by now know that the third side will be 5 centimeter otherwise you can calculate it 13 square minus 12 square square root so this will be 169 this will be 144 and the difference will be 25 square root of 25 is 5 centimeter okay now that you got all all the dimensions with you the volume will be 1 by 3 pi r square into height so this will be the volume this time now the calculation i would have left on you but in this question you do not require the answer in centimeter cubes so what you have to do is the number that you get after this calculation you have to divide it by 1000 to get the answer in liters right so let me calculate it for you 7 8 8 7 are 56 56 into 22 so this will be 112 112 2 3 2 1 so 1 2 3 2 centimeter cubes hence it will be 1.232 liters right we have to write the capacity of conical vessel in liters similarly in this one 
what you can do is you can again divide it by 1000 let me first simplify it this will give you 4 this is 25 into 4 which will be 100 so 2200 by 7 now if I divide it by 1000 the answer will be in liters so this is this will be cancelled 22 by 70 or you can write it like this 11 by 35 liter so this is the answer right so you need to read every question carefully so that you do not miss certain uh, hidden hints right this was not even hidden this was very prominent that you have to answer in liters right you do not miss these kind of things in the questions height of a cone is 15 centimeter so h is 15 centimeter its volume is 15 70 centimeter cubes find the radius of the base so the volume is given hence 1 by 3 pi radius square into height is already given as 1570 right and we need to find the radius of the base so if r is the radius of this base because i have used it in this formula so i just need to find r here h is given as 15 so let's do that 1 by 3 pi we have to use as 3.14 in this so read the questions very very carefully why because 3.14 will help us to make the calculations simple right if you look at i'll i'll just tell you how it will make the calculation simple first let me write the r square and value of h here so it is 15 and it is equal to 1570 now if you look at it carefully this when multiplied by 5 3.14 into 5 what is the value it is 15.7 now you may get the idea why in this question it was mentioned that pi has to be taken as 3.14 so 3.14 into 5 is 1.57 so 3.14 into 500 will be 1570 right this was the idea now r square is equal to 500 into 3 divided by 15 so this is 500 into 3 is 1500 so this will give you 100 so r is equal to 10 centimeter this is the radius of the base okay If the volume of a right circular cone of height 9 cm, so h is equal to 9 cm and volume or we will write the formula 1 by 3 pi radius square height as 48 pi cm cubes. Find the diameter of its base. So in this question the answer we need to find out is 2r what is 2r equal to ok so let us put value of h here 1 by 3 22 by 7 r square into height which is 9 48 pi ok pi even we do not have to write the 22 by 7 as its value because it will anyway be cancelled right so this is r square is equal to 48 this will be 3 so 48 by 3 that is 16 r is equal to 4 centimeter so you might be tempted to move on to next question now but this is still not the final answer because the answer we are looking for is 2 r that is diameter so diameter of the base is equal to twice of radius is equal to 2 into 4 that is 8 centimeters. So, this is your answer. Okay. Now, subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees 1 per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10.
bright duty courses are available for the subjects of math science social science english and hindi in english and hindi medium bright duty follows three step approach that is learning assessment and exam preparation in learning topic wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions in assessment topic wise online mcq test practice assignments and chapter wise question bank are available with the solutions in exam preparation previous years question papers sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions sign up today on bright duty and avail your courses at affordable prices a conical pit of top diameter 3.5 meter so the top radius is equal to 3.5 by 2 meter is 12 meter deep so h is equal to 12 meter what is its capacity in kilo liters so kilo liters right so we have to find its capacity in kilo liters so the capacity means the volume right so volume we have got the direct formula 1 by 3 pi radius square into height 1 by 3 pi i am replacing with 22 by 7 radius square means 3.5 by 2 into 3.5 by 2 and into height is 12 so this calculation will give us our volume or the capacity of this conical pit in meter cubes then we will convert it into kiloliters and we will see that meter cubes are actually kiloliters so let us see 3.5 by 2 so 3.5 into 2 is 7 right 2 into 2 4 into 3 is 12 so 12 is also gone 2 into 11 is 22 so the only calculation left is 11 into 3.5 so it is equal to 38.5 okay 38.5 meter cube now we know the conversion that 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liter right and what is 1000 1000 means kilo so 1 meter cube is 1 kilo liter hence this answer itself is the answer in kilo liters also right so you need to show this conversion and then you can write your answer as 38.5 kiloliters okay the volume of a right circular cone is 9856 cm cubes if the diameter of the base is 28 cm find so the first part diameter of the base is given so the base radius will be half of this diameter that is 14 cm volume is given so 1 by 3 pi radius square into height when i say radius square i i am giving you an idea that small r is the radius and when i say height h it means i have assumed height as h and it is given as 9856 cm cubes okay first part wants us to calculate height of the cone that is h now radius is given so i'll put value of radius here and find the value of h so 1 by 3 pi radius square into height it is equal to 9856 okay so 7 into 2 is 14 h is equal to 9856 divided by this is 22 this is 14 14 into 2 28 22 into 28 and 3 will go in the numerator this is the calculation left okay so 11 into 2 is 22 11 eights are 88 10 remainder 105 right 11 nines are 99 so 6 remainder 11 6 are 
ओके टू फोर फोर एट राइट एंड इट विल बी इक्वल टू फोर फोर इंटू सेवन इज ट्वेंटी एट सो इट विल बी वन वन टू एंड कैन इट बी कैंसल विद सेवन सो दिस इज इक्वल टू सेवन वन जार सेवन फोर रिमाइंडर सेवन सिक्स जार फोर्टी टू इंटू थ्री सो द हाइट इज फोर्टी एट सेंटीमीटर राइट दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट नाउ आई नीड टू फाइंड स्लांट हाइट ऑफ दिस कोम विच इज़ वेरी इजी बिकॉज आई अप्लाई पाइथागोरस थ्योरम एल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू आर स्क्वायर प्लस एच स्क्वायर सो द स्लांट हाइट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड लाइक दिस इट विल बी फोर्टीन स्क्वायर प्लस फोर्टी एट स्क्वायर राइट एंड नाउ इफ यू नोटिस इफ यू डो नॉट नो द स्क्वायर ऑफ फोर्टी एट इट विल बी ओके इन दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज वॉट आई कैन डू इज आई कैन टेक टू स्क्वायर कॉमन एंड इट विल बी सेवन स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वायर this we already know will be equal to 25 square okay if you have paid attention because this will be 576 this is 49 so combined it will be 625 and which is 25 squared so it is equal to 2 square into 25 square that is 50 squared right so l is equal to 50 cm all right curved surface area of the cone curved surface area of the cone is pi r l right pi is 22 by 7 radius is 40 l is 50 so this is 2 2 into 50 is 100 so 2200 20, cm square is the curved surface area of this cone okay a right triangle abc with sides 5 12 and 13 cm is revolved around the side 12 cm find the volume of the solid so obtained so let us see if we rotate a triangle like this which solid shape do we get if this is 5 this is 12 and this is right angle so this side will be 13 right now i am revolving this about this side right so when i am revolving this if you visualize this it will be a cone like shape right so it will exactly be a cone right when this side comes here and when you are rotating you will see that it will be a cone so the dimensions of this cone we know will be r will be 5 in this case h will be 12 in this case and l will be 13 in this case so volume we can calculate as 1 by 3 pi pi i am taking as 22 by 7 radius square that is 5 into 5 into height 12 so this will be the volume of this solid when we are rotating right triangle about the side which is 12 cm okay so it will be equal to this is 100 so 2200 by 7 cm cubes will be the volume now if we rotate this triangle about this side what will happen so let's c let this be 5 this is let us say 12 so this will be 13 if this is a right angle okay so this will be 13 now i am rotating it about this side here so when i am rotating it about 5 cm side i'll again i can again visualize a cone right a solid cone now this time the dimensions have changed this time the base radius will be 12 cm height will be 5 cm and slant height 
will be same that is 13 centimeter okay so now if i need to find the volume of solid so volume this time will be 1 by 3 pi radius square that is 12 into 12 into height that is 5 okay so it will be equal to this is 22 by 7 so let me write 4 here 4 into 5 is 20 20 into 12 is 240 and this is pi right so even uh, you can leave the answer like this also 240 pi centimeter cubes okay this is perfectly correct answer now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Duty and avail your courses at affordable prices. Now, the second part of this question is, compare the ratio of volumes of two solids obtained in the previous question and this one. So, here the volume was 2200 by 7 centimeter cubes or we could have written it as 100 pi centimeter cubes right 5 into 5 is 25 25 into 4 is 100 and this is pi so if we compare the volumes so the ratio will be 100 pi divided by 240 pi so this will be cancelled 10 by 24, so 5 by 12. So the ratio is 5 is to 12. Okay, once we rotated this about the side equal to 12 centimeter, then again we rotated it about the side 5 centimeter. When we rotated it about the side 5 centimeter, the volume was more. Why? Because in volume we have got the dimensions like this we have radius square into height so if radius becomes more then its square will become you know higher that's why this effect so in this case the ratio will be 5 is to 12 okay a heap of wheat is in the form of a cone whose diameter is 10.5 meter and height is 3 meter so, if diameter is 10.5, so the radius will be 10.5 by 2 meter, height is 3 meter, we need to find its volume, the question number 1. So, let us find the volume first. Volume will be 1 by 3 pi radius square into height. Okay. 7 into 3 is 21 and 10.5 is half of 21. So, what I can do is I can cancel these and write 2 here. Right. So, 2 into 11 is 22. 11 into 3 is 33 into 10.5 by 4. Okay. So, it will be equal to you need to multiply 10.5 with 33. How can you do that? 10 and 0.5. So, 330 plus half of 33 plus half of 33 because of this 0.5, right? And half of 33 is 
so this will be 346.5 346.5 by 4. Now we can further simplify it. So it will be 86.625 meter cubes. Okay, so this is the volume. Now this heap is to be covered by a canvas to protect it from rain. Find the area of the canvas. So to find area of canvas, we will have to find the curved surface area of a cone. For that, we will also require the slant height. Slant height is r square plus h square square root. So, L square is r square plus h square. r square means 10.5 by 2 square and h square is 3 square. So, this will be equal to if I write 10.5 as 21 by 2, so this expression will be 21 by 4 squared plus 3 squared, okay. 21 square, 21 by 4 whole square plus 3 square, right. Now, what I can write it is, I can take 21 square here and plus, this is 4 square, right. So, 4 square into 3 square and divided by 4 square. Further, I can write it as 3 square common and 7 square plus 4 square divided by 4 square, right. So, L will be square root of this, hence it will be equal to 3 by 4 into square root of 7 square plus 4 square that is 49 plus 16 hence it will be equal to 3 by 4 49 plus 16 is how much 49 plus 6 is 55 55 plus 10 is 65 so square root of 65 and this will be equal to what is it approximately equal to find the nearest square root first 7 square is 49 right and 8 square is 64 so it will be 8 point something. So, if I consider it 8 point something and divide it by 4, this is 3 into 8 is 24. So, 24 point something divided by 4 will give me 6 point something. Okay. So, 6 point something will be L. Hence, now I need to find the area of canvas required. So, area of canvas will approximately be equal to pi radius into slant height. What is pi? Pi is 22 by 7. Radius is 10.5 by 2 and L we have calculated approximately equal to 6. Okay. So, this will be 3. This will give you 1.5. 3 into 1.5 is 4.5. 4.5 into 22. 4.5 into 22 or we can write 9 into 11. So, it will be approximately equal to 99 centimeter meter square, 99 meter square, okay. So, this was about this exercise, okay. I hope you have understood how to calculate the volume of a cone. Now, subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees 1 per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.